What's Prosting YouTube, JD Fitness here with a three minute fit tip here for you. Um, a couple months ago I competed in my first natural bodybuilding competition. It was uh, kind of just a personal challenge. I wanted to challenge myself, see how it would come out. Uh, like most first timers, I made a handful of mistakes. I'm going to tell you uh, three big tips that I have for you guys that are trying out for your first uh, natural bodybuilding show, including one huge one that pretty much automatically got me disqualified and had me finish in last place in my division. Uh, the first, uh, first tip I have for you is continually cutting or just getting your weight down as low as you can might not be the best strategy. Um, I started out my bodybuilding um, training at about 170 pounds, 6 foot 1, 170 pounds. I cut down to about 160 pounds by the time of the show and I think looking back at it now I probably cut about 9 pounds of muscle and 1 pound of fat. So I don't think that that was necessarily the best strategy for me. Uh, the second tip I have for you is practice your posing. Um, something I didn't do or did very little of. Um, to me, it kind of felt awkward or whatever, but it, if you're serious about winning, you're working so hard, train hard, you're working hard on your diet, you want to go out, you want to be competitive in this thing, you got to practice your posing. Um, after the competition, the judges said that my posing just wasn't good. and. If you want to be successful, there's going to be guys out there, there's going to be women out there that practice this stuff. You need to take videos of yourself, you need to practice, you need to get good at it. And the third tip, and this is my biggest one, it might be an obvious one, but it pretty much got me disqualified and finished in last place, is make sure you get a competition tan. There's a difference between a competition tan and a tan that you're going to go and get from a tanning salon, I guess. Um, I've never had a tan before. I just went to Zoom Tan, which is a chain up here in New York, and got the darkest tan I could get. And I thought, walking out of there, I looked at myself, I was like, wow, I look pretty good. I'm really happy with the job they did. And then I got to the competition, and everyone else is pretty much like five or six shades darker than me. Um, after the competition, one of the judges came up to me and said, if I couldn't care enough to get a competition tan, then they weren't going to care enough to judge me. So, make sure you get that taken care of. And I'm looking at the clock, I'm right about three minutes now, so keep working hard, um, stay healthy.